Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a timeline so you can add it as a picture to your uh, your essay, essay two. Essay two's topic is uh, working in America circa early to mid 1800s. If you want exact dates, 1800 to 1859. So what I have here, this is just my, my cover slide how to make a timeline and I have here as you can see this is a picture it's uh, can't be grouped or ungrouped it's already grouped it's already saved as a picture so this is what I have <clears throat> in these each of these boxes would normally be uh, the significant events between 1800 and 1859 so what we have here um, I just put in type an event just to show you that this is what eventually you're going to make only instead of type an event being written into these arrow boxes here you're gonna actually have those events listed and if I list them here then that would be giving you the answers and who wants to do that okay so here on the second slide and I have a partial timeline. I wanted to, I'm going to go to the third slide where it's blank. So I want to show you how, you know, you might be wondering how did you get these boxes and this line and these boxes, um, text boxes, these are text boxes here. It's way easier to create a timeline in PowerPoint than it is to create it in Microsoft Word. And that's because you can move objects around uh, freely you can't move you don't have that freedom unless you go through a lot of steps in Microsoft Word and even then it's a pain so it's easier to just create it in PowerPoint on a slide and then to create a picture from it and then insert the picture into your essay in, into Microsoft Word okay so here you have this is a partial one I'm gonna go to the blank slide and show you exactly how to add, how to create a timeline right from scratch. It doesn't take very long. Okay, so here I'm going to go to insert in case uh, you don't have shapes in your ribbon. Insert, shapes right here. Shapes, it's, it's the first one in this little illustration section here. Shapes, smart art chart. So go to shapes, go to where it says lines here. I have recently used shapes. I use lines a lot. Apparently I use text boxes, um, different arrows and whatnot. But you can go to line and you just want to draw a line. Start from one end, go to the next, like that. Now it's a pretty tiny line and so you click. As soon as you do that it's highlighted. There's a little circle, white circle, white circle. That shows that it's highlighted. So you, it'll automatically show this little ribbon up here uh, drawing tools format click on format then go to shape outline I'm gonna make it black I make it, uh, let me make it um, I'll make it purple one of the STC colors and I'm gonna add a little weight to it I'm gonna make it um, six point that's pretty thick but it's, uh, it serves its purpose. Okay, so now I have my time. And um, if I don't, if I click away from it, it doesn't highlight it. And the drawing, the drawing tools tab goes away. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create year boxes. And I'm just going to click on uh, also insert text box or on the ribbon. And I'm just going to draw a little box there. And my first year is 1800. Okay. And my last year, which I also put in here, um, is 1859. Okay. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up kind of close. And um, when you do that, it should it shows this invisible invisible dashed line when you move the boxes around so that you have everything is uh, lined up and neatness does count in an essay and it counts when you're doing a timeline so you don't want to crowd too many um, 
text boxes together, year, year boxes we'll call them. I'm also going to um, control V as in victory to paste some more boxes and it just put some more boxes out. So I want to do, put one there and I can edit the year. Oh, yeah, I want to put these away. Earlier I made a timeline and my boxes were, I had too many on my timeline. And also you don't want to have too many significant dates. So you're going to have to figure out um, what, maybe some dates take, uh, are more important than others between 1800 and 1859. Alright, that's something of a skew, but um, do I want it to be perfect? Of course I do, because I'm I'm trying to point out to you that it's it's important that um, I caught myself that it's relatively neat and orderly and organized. So here I have uh, six on the bottom and five on the top. I have um, eleven date set up and of course you know you can uh, you can edit like if maybe this one is 1810 maybe this is 15 you have to be careful too when you highlight because with uh, Microsoft products when you when you go over that digit or that character it will highlight the whole thing so I just kind of um, I have to I backtrack a little so maybe 20 all right, see here, see how it does that? So if you just go back to that one character and then you can type in, maybe this is 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 59. We'll put some odd dates in, uh, 33 maybe. 48, maybe something significant happened in 49 as well. Honestly, I don't know all, right off the top of my head, and that's maybe the 55. Okay, so I'm putting my dates in, and then um, you should have a list of dates. All right, I guess I should show you what I did there. To put a shape in, go to Insert shapes again this time you want to go to block arrows and I'm gonna select this one it's up arrow call out okay so I'm gonna to go to drawing tools format click on um, if I already have it as clear then when I hover over it here it's gonna be clear so whatever you use last is in that underneath that bucket bucket icon okay so I have that and uh, I'm going to change the shape color to green, but not so green. It's not, it's not acknowledging. Oh, that's a good green. Okay, so I have that one. Then what I'm going to, what I want to do is I can hit control C on my keyboard and then control V as in victory and it will make copies of that okay so I don't need that many well I might need um, I need one two three I don't need that one I'm gonna do the short boxes every other and you see how the line the dash line is there it's helping me line up the box the boxes with each other and I'm going to do the same thing. does the same thing all the way across. That's what I like about the, the new PowerPoint. Is it allows me to, to do that line up everything all nice and neat and orderly. And then for this one, I'm going to um, expand it. I'm going to move it over here. I, I just need a long arrow. And. see how it lines up all the way across so um, well, I can probably add this a little 
little more. Not so big. There we go. Now with these uh, these two, I'm going to delete them. If I highlight both of them, I put them together. If I highlight, click and drag, and you see that blue, and it covers both the boxes. Hit the delete key, and they both disappear. So this one I need. I want to copy. Ta da! There it is. Okay, another one. I can. Uh, I can. Uh, course I can do the control V and there I have my and I tried doing um, I tried doing this copying the boxes all of them together click copy that again and then moving those up and turning them around and you see of course then I, I'm gonna have to move my boxes around, but I noticed too that when I type black 14, I'll try 14. I'm like gonna click here and I click here and I type type and event. It's upside down. And of course I could do this and then click text direction. more options it's it's just annoying so it's easier to um, to make your own so now I'm just kind of gonna go here to shapes and get this one and this one here shape fill green move it over and I had I think I'll move it for that one copy Now, on, with these, these are not um, modified with the black. Calibri, PowerPoint default is Calibri 18. So you want to change the font to something smaller because when you put it in Word, it's going to be really big. Of here, this is type and events. And earlier, I wanted to see if I could uh, highlight all of them, like copy and then highlight all of them because you can do that and just move them around or, or group them or you can just do different things with them and I thought well what how about can I do uh, control V and no it just puts type an event like right there <laughs> it makes it it does uh, copy it or it does paste it but it creates its own separate text box so I have to do um, here control V type an event So here I have my pictures, right? Okay, now I have it. I'm gonna highlight, and you can. Um, you don't have to put the timeline in all black, black and white. It can be uh, different colors, but it should be something that's pleasing to the eye. So you want to please the readers as much as possible. Um, I just picked purple and green because those are our STC colors.